Then we're going to have the equipment. We're going to look and this is a property plant and equipment. We can get that from the prior time's equipment. We had 600,000. Then we have to look for the stuff that was added or taken away. In this problem, the only thing happened was equipment that was added. It was all for cash. That's why I'm looking at the cash budget in order to get that. If we financed it and whatnot, we'd have to think about find how much equipment we uh, had purchased, whether it was financed or not. In this case, we had the 600,000. We had one purchase through this time period for cash of the, of the 130. That gives us the total equipment, 730000 Then we have the accumulated depreciation, the stuff we're going to reduce the equipment by. Once again, we're going to take the balance sheet from the last period. So last period's uh, balance sheet had accumulated depreciation, 150000 And we have the budgeted uh, overhead budget gave us 21000 a month or 63000 on the quarter. So the 150,000 plus the 63,000 in accumulated depreciation gives us this 213,000. So then if we take the uh, 730,000 minus the 213,000, we have a book value of the equipment of uh, 517,000. Then we're going to have the total assets, total assets being the outer column. So the outer column of current assets, 78340 plus the 517. Gives us the $1,300,040.